Hey everyone, so today we're going to be answering the question that every developer and creator asks. What's the fastest way to get your website live on the internet? I'm going to be testing three popular platforms, Netlify, Vercel and Tinyhost and time exactly how long it takes to go from having a website files to a live URL that you can share with the world. Okay, so as you can see, I've just got a simple website here with HTML, a bit of CSS and some JavaScript, nothing too fancy. This is just a typical static website that you might want to deploy quickly. So now let's start the timer and see out of Tinyhost, Vercel and Netlify, which one is the fastest online. So now first thing I'm going to do is add new project and deploy it manually because we're not going to use Git. We're going to try as quick as possible. Now we're going to go on files. Now, since I want to upload files directly rather than connecting to Git, I will need to create a zip file for my website. So I've already done this, but I'm just gonna show again. I would just select everything, come down, press compress, and we have an archive zip here that we can use. So we're just gonna take this zip, we're gonna drag and drop and wait for it to load. Now this typically takes anywhere from 20 seconds to 30 seconds. And if you are a big project, this is smaller, but it could take up to a minute. As you can see, I've just dragged it in, it takes a little bit of time and now it's done. Okay. So it's finished, I can now deploy it and open my project. Now we probably also want to change the names. So we're just going to change this to Joshua work site to update the project name. Takes a little bit of time as well. And now it's done. So if we just finish this later, you can see the website is launched. So we can just click this here and we've got a nice working website. Now I'm gonna put on the screen how long this took me to do on Netlify, it's on the middle. Now I'm gonna chuck that to the top left of the screen so we can keep the Netlify timer up there to compare with the other two. Now we're gonna test Vercel. So the thing with Vercel is if we come over to home, this is what you're gonna see once you're logged in, is Vercel doesn't actually allow manual deploys anymore. You have to upload from Git. So we're gonna come over here, we're gonna press add new, click the project, and then once you've connected, as you can see, I've already connected my Git account. Um, all of your project files will be here, but I'm gonna show you how to upload this, assuming that we need to upload it. So we're gonna come over to GitHub. We're gonna go to the plus sign. We're gonna click new repository. We're gonna then name this, which we're called this one project two, let's say. And the description, we'll just do test. And we're gonna make sure this is all what we want create repository then we're going to come over here and we're going to upload an existing file so we're going to we can drag our files again we're just going to drag this over here and then it takes a few seconds if you're good wi-fi and commit changes and that is all good so now if we come back to Vercel, we should see project 2 which it has so we can just import this make sure this is all good so again i might want to call this joshua website we're just going to click deploy and we're going to see how long this takes deployment build logs deployment summary assigning customer domains okay continue to the dashboard and the website is here but we still need to change the name but the status is ready now as you can see if we're comparing netlify and vercel right now netlify is definitely the quicker one Vercel, you have to use GitHub, you have to use a Git, and it does take a bit longer. And there's obviously a few more issues as well where you need to change. So it's a bit more complex. So now I'm going to put the timer. It took me to completely deploy Vercel on the screen in the center now. And now I'm going to put it next to Netlify. So we, again, we can compare with Tinyhost. So if we go to Tinyhost now, this is the one I actually use for most of my quick deployments. I have to say it's never failed me. Now I'm already logged in. So what I'll do is I'll just click upload. Now what's great about Tinyhost is that it's designed specifically for speed and simplicity. I can literally go on my file, drag my zip file in here. We can set a custom link name. So again, I might want it to be Joshua website test. And now I even have some extra options that the others don't by default. So as you can see here, I can set up a password protection. So I can say test one. So we're already going more advanced. I'm going to click publish. Now we're going to see how this is. I'm going to view the link. Again, we'll type in the password very quickly. And it's that quick. It's as simple as that. Tinyhost is already live. 
and this is how long it took me. I'm going to put it on the screen compared to the other two. So we're going to put them all in the center of the screen and we're going to compare them now. You can see the difference. But listen, speed isn't everything. So let's talk about what you get with each platform. So for feature comparison, we have Netlify and we have Versa. Now they're excellent for complex applications with build processes, continuous deployment from Git, and also advanced features like serverless functions. They are perfect if you're working on a React app, view project, or, or anything that needs to be built and compiled. But if you're looking to share a static website, a portfolio, a landing page, or even some HTML files, TinyHost is incredibly fast and comes with unique features that others charge extra for. With TinyHost, as you can see down here, you even get built-in analytics to see who's visiting your site. You can also quickly update, update files, and then you can add password protection, capture emails, functionality. So this is perfect if you want to collect leads before people even view your content. Plus, if we just go over here, you can really quickly generate QR codes for easy mobile sharing. And then also, if you come over here, you can easily publish and set up custom domains if you want your site to have your own personal domain name. Now, when to use each platform. So here's where I'd recommend each platform. Use Netlify or Vercel when you're building complex web applications, if you need continuous deployment from Git, or want advanced hosting features like serverless functions. I would use TinyHost when you need to quickly share a website, a portfolio, or any static content, especially if you want built-in analytics, password protection, or email capture without the complexity of setting up additional services. Now the conclusion, the winner for pure speed is TinyHost by a landslide. But for the best platform depends on your specific needs. For quick sharing and simple static sites with powerful built-in features, TinyHost is unbeatable. For complex applications with build processes, the Netlify and Vercel are fantastic choices. Now what's your go-to platform for deploying websites? Let me know in the comments below. And if you found this comparison helpful, don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more web development tips and tutorials. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.